Right. Good. Okay. You saw what the teacher was doing with the students. Now it's your turn. I'd like you to practice doing this. Give everyone in the class a piece of paper and they may write a price on it. Any number they want. They can make up their own price. And then I'd like you to write on the board the words more expensive than and in another place on the board a little bit away from there write the words cheaper than and then I'd like you to ask two students to come up with their price and stand in the correct place so that the statement makes sense for example if you stood this way we would say 995 is more expensive than 750. But if we change them the other way, the students would have to go stand by the sign that says cheaper than. 750 is cheaper than 995. So you can have the students do it that way. Then you can play the game another way. You have two students come up with their prices and you can have a piece of paper that says more expensive than and another piece of paper that says cheaper than. So have your two students stand with their prices and then a third student must hold up the correct piece of paper to say more expensive than or cheaper than so that they go in the right order. All right? Are you ready? Let's begin. Please stop the video and do the activity. Now let's practice that using complete sentences. We will show you two things on the screen and each thing will have a price. You must make a complete sentence. For example, if you saw these two things, you would say, the duck is cheaper than the bowl. You don't have to say the price in dollars and cents. You just have to say more expensive than or cheaper than. Start with the thing on the left side of your screen and say this is more expensive than or cheaper than the thing on the right side of your screen. All right, I will wait a moment and then I will give the correct answer. Are you ready? Let's begin. The hat is more expensive than the duck. The duck is cheaper than the shirt. The phone is more expensive than the cup. The gloves are cheaper than the shirt. The cup is cheaper than the shirt. The chocolate bar is cheaper than the book. The pen is more expensive than the cloth. The bowl is more expensive than the mitts. The CD is cheaper than the phone. The pen is cheaper than the cup. The shoes are more expensive than the sweater. The jacket is cheaper than the shoes.
The phone is more expensive than the sweater. All right, I hope you did well on that. You may need to practice this a little more because you have to read the price and understand which is higher or lower and then name the two things and make a sentence out of it. So you might want to go back to the beginning of that last part and practice that again. Practice making the complete sentences with the two things on the screen. Practice it until you can say all the sentences correctly. All right? So, let's try this again. Some more sentences. This is how much? How much is this? Lair? Lair? How much is this? 125. 125? Mm, not quite. 125 is like this. 125. Right? Is that 125? No. no, because of this. $1.25. That's right. Okay. $1.25. What if I went like this? One, two, five, like that. How much is this? Five cents. And not five cents. You've got to assume that there's a zero there. Five zero. What's five zero? Fifty. So this is twelve fifty. That's one dollar and twenty five cents. And this is one hundred twenty five dollars. Good. Okay. So how much how much is this book, Lair? One dollar twenty five cents. Good. And how much is this book, Sablu? Four dollars sixty five cents. Okay. So which one is cheaper? The small book or the thin book. Okay. So you would say the the thin book is cheaper. Cheaper. Than yes. The big, the big book. Than the big book. Good. What if we wanted to say this? Now what do you say? The big book is especially more expensive. Expensive. More expensive than, than the thin book. The thin, thin book. Good. Okay. I think we're getting this now. I don't know. Those are the same price. What would the sentence be for this? Short, uh, Shorts? The short is mm -hmm. And the box. Good. How about this? The glass is cheaper than the shorts. Right. Okay. So whenever you use more expensive, if you're going to use more expensive, whatever is here, okay, whatever is here has to be more expensive. It's always comparing the first to the second. This is more expensive than this. Right? Can you say this? No. No. Why not? Why not? You need to switch. You need to switch. Oh, like this. Right? Why? Because the first one is cheaper. Right? If this one, if we're comparing these two, if you want to start, if you want to say more expensive, which do I choose? Which is more expensive? The shorts. More expensive than the kettle. If I want to say cheaper than... Right. Okay. If you want to say cheaper than, you use the smaller number. If you want to say more expensive than, you use the bigger number. Because next time, we'll cover, you can use these words, this ER, cheaper, or more expensive than, for everything. So we can say that the birdhouse is rougher than the chamois. Or the chamois is softer than 
the birdhouse. Okay? So that's where we'll try and get to next time. Okay? All right. Well, have a good day, and we'll see you next time. Well, let's wrap up. What did we learn today? Well, we learned how to talk about things and compare prices without saying the numbers in dollars and cents. We learned that we can say something is more expensive than something else, or it's cheaper than something else. We learned again that when the adjective has two syllables or less, you would say cheaper. If it has three syllables or more, you would say more expensive or more whatever the word is. Well, this is helpful when you need to talk about comparing prices, but you don't know how much they cost. You know, for example, that some things like a car are more expensive than other things, like a book. You don't have to know the numbers to know that. All right? Well, this has been an interesting lesson. This is English Without Limits. I'm Doug Sadler. Have a good day.